uh, we have we have a very intimate setting here today. So um, if anyone wants to come down here, we'd love to have you. We uh, heard a lot this morning about the uh, risks of offshore transactions and working in the offshore world. We are now going to talk about some of the rewards uh, that are available under our various whistleblower programs. Uh, my name is Scott Oswald, and I represent whistleblowers, most, uh, mostly insiders, individuals who are working for funds. Uh, they work for trading houses. They work for corporations, both in the United States and outside the United States, and they have discovered wrongdoing. And they are uh, reporting it, and they are reporting it now to a whole host of regulatory bodies. The difference is since 2000 and 10, they now have the opportunity to receive real rewards. So we're going to talk about 2012. It was uh, described by journalists as the year of the whistleblower. Uh, in 2012, there were more rewards that were issued to individuals than in any year in our history. Uh, we're going to talk about the big incentives uh, that are available to whistleblowers and we're going to talk about the U.S. bureaucracy and how the bureaucracy for the first time is now supporting whistleblowers who are coming forward. Okay, first, uh, just a few things. Uh, corporations have finally responded. Uh, Smith, uh, GlaxoSmithKline came forward and self-disclosed. They paid a $3 billion settlement on a drug that they received a profit of just over $11 million for. So uh, they uh, gave up about one-third of the total amount. We'll see what the whistleblower who came forward while uh, prior to their self-disclosure, what uh, he received. The key for corporate America is the fact that they have to be more diligent because individuals, to the extent that they have information, now have the opportunity for the first time to receive significant uh, rewards. So the rise of the whistleblower programs. Uh, prior to 2006, there was only one significant whistleblower program in the United States. It was the False Claims Act, passed in 1865, reinvigorated in 1986. In 2006, we had the IRS whistleblower program. In 2010, the Dodd-Frank program, we'll talk about that. And uh, of course, the False Claims Act itself was was fine-tuned by Congress in 2009. Uh, we'll uh, see how those changes have just begun to work their way through the system in 2012. The Dodd-Frank uh, legislation. Most people who watched any of the presidential debates can remember that uh, Mitt Romney said that he was going to, to uh, uh, repeal the Affordable Care Act on day one of his administration. Most people do not remember that there are actually two statutes that he said that he would repeal or work to repeal on day one. The second was the Dodd-Frank Act, which was passed in 2010. It created the whistleblower offices at the Securities and Exchange Commission and at the CFTC. The, uh, these reward programs allow an individual who comes forward to receive a percentage of the total uh, so long as they disclose over a million dollars of between 10 and 30 percent. The IRS whistleblower program. Uh, we uh, have heard a lot about the Bradley Birkenfeld Award uh, last year. We'll get to that later on. But the IRS whistleblower program has seen more tips over the last three years uh, than it did in its entire uh, history of disclosures prior to that point. An individual can receive between 15 and 30 percent of the total uh, to the extent that there is a recovery of $2 million. It recovers tax underpayments. It recovers any kind of, of recovery from the Internal Revenue Service. And it does not matter whether or not the, the uh, violation was intentional or, in fact, was accidental. No statute of limitations for fraud. Okay, the Department of Justice programs. The most important is the False Claims Act. And the False Claims Act, as amended in 2009, 
is now much more robust than it was. It, rec it uh, covers any kind of fraud that touches upon federal government funds. And uh, it allows an individual not only to, to file a claim with the Department of Justice, but to then 